What is the crack everybody? My name is Jacob Potato and I am sick. I have been lying in my house for the last three days sick. And the worst thing about it is, is that I'm now officially unemployed. So I have enough money to keep myself running for a while, yet I've been lying in my bed sick as a dog. It is not fun at all. But I'm actually starting to get in the men's now. I'm starting to feel a bit more loose and a bit more alive anyway, just for lack of a better term. And I kind of been thinking, I've, I've had a lot of time to watch videos and stuff. So I seen the one of Judgment Awaits done a couple of days ago. And also seen the one that Butterbean put up a couple of days ago as well. well. A couple of days ago, it was like a week ago. And it was the five awkward things about me. Judgment tagged some people. He didn't really tag anybody. He was just like, if you're a friend of me on YouTube, Go do it or something if you're watching the video go do it so I thought you know what yeah I'm going to go do it I don't care if he didn't tag me or not I'm just going to do it anyway so five awkward things about me no face cam I'm sorry I like the whole anonymity and I'm in them and I'm in it I'm having a fine name moment here and and then I'm in the whole thing about YouTube that you can kind of hide your your face and stuff so I like that whole thing so I'm just gonna keep my face a mystery and then someday do a big reveal video and let everyone see my beautiful face so enough of that here are my top five awkward things about me and hopefully they will be more awkward than Butterbean and Judgment Awaits so here we go number one first awkward thing about me is I have never watched a horror film in my life ever that is right I am pretty much a big wuss when it comes to horror films it really all stems back to when I was like four or five. Um, I couldn't sleep one night, so I went down to my living room and my mum and dad were watching this film. And I don't even know what the film was to this day. Well, there was two films that I've seen that kind of screwed me up in the head. I've recently watched the other film, which I found out isn't actually that bad. But the first film, I do not know what that film was to this day, but it really screwed me up. It was a girl and a guy, and they were kind of getting up to some stuff, you know, in the bedroom. I'm not going into more detail about that. Then the girl goes up and gets goes into the bathroom and then the guy's head explodes and the girl like kind of comes over and starts like licking his or eating his neck or something I don't know it was really weird and freaked me out so I ran out of the room and went down to my bedroom and kind of hid under the quilt for like half an hour and then my mom and dad were like are you sleeping yet and I was like no <laughs> the second one was actually Mission to Mars I think it's called Mission to Mars and it was the one with that guy from CSI New York um Mac Taylor from CSI New York, I don't know his real name. There was the scene where he like falls down the slope and his mask comes off and his head explodes or something. I don't know, that freaked me out as well. So ever since seeing them, two scenes of them, two movies, I have never watched a horror film in my life. What makes it even more funny is that since I'm now off and my girlfriend's now off, um, you know, and I'm off work, she has compiled a list of stuff that she wants us to do over the summer and one of them is my first horror film. I am so not looking forward to it. I, if anything, I want to watch Aliens because apparently Aliens is just like one of these films you have to see before you die. So I'd rather watch something like that, even though it's apparently like the scariest of them all. Okay, so awkward thing number two. I would have to say that with my hands, when it comes to my hands, I have a wee bit of OCD. I've never really been clinically diagnosed with OCD, but if my hands are like dirty or like wet, I can't like touch paper. I can't touch wood I sometimes can't touch my jeans and it's really weird and I have to like wash my hands before I can touch anything but then the problem with that is if my hands are wet then I can't touch the paper so then I have to like wait a while until my hands like completely dry oh it's really weird I just can't touch paper I don't know where that's come from it's been kind of around for like my whole life but what makes it really awkward is is that I'm a farmer my dad well is a farmer and I help out on the yard during the summer I'll probably be working for him for a while over the summer now since you know I'm constantly working with muck and dirt and my hands get dirty and I freak out and I have to go like wash them at the tap to get the dirt off them and it's just really bad <laughs> awkward thing number three kind of relates back to judgment awaits awkward things he was showing a glass that he has his cream in. Um, I don't know if it's actual cream or if it's like an American term for milk. I don't know. But he was showing that how he has the cream in this glass. Well, for me, if I was to drink tea or milk out of a glass, that would freak me out a bit. I cannot drink tea or milk out of a glass. They have to be in an, a mug. I cannot see the milk and I cannot, you know, see the tea around the... It's okay to see it from the top, but I don't want to see it down the side for some reason. 
So if anyone ever gives me like a glass of milk, that weirds me out. And I have to say, can I get it in a cup, please? Because I just can't deal with this type of thing. So yeah, that's freaky as like. Awkward thing number four is... I have a bit of a soft spot for anime and other like animated films and things like that. It's kind of funny that I hate horror films so much, but I love like animated films like Disney and Pixar and Studio Ghibli and just all that crack. It's it's really not all that weird. Like, you could just call me a big wuss if you want, but especially Studio Ghibli. I have a secret passion for any film made by Studio Ghibli. While recording this even, I had just been watching My Neighbor Totoro and it is one of the best films that I have ever watched. It's just really brilliant. It's just so silly and it's just so magical at the same time. It's kind of like an old Disney style film, just in the animation. But with anime and things like that, if a game is an anime game, I will likely buy that game. Like some of my favorite games is Tales of Vesperia and Nino Kune and they're just brilliant. And it's kind of really awkward talking about it sometimes because my friends are like, you watch anime, is not not stuff for like children and things? And I'm just like, no, because sometimes it's really violent. I think there's a bit of leniency with Studio Ghibli because it's become a much more household name now. Like when it comes to reading manga and things like that, I'm a bit of a nerd. An awkward thing number five is I am Northern Irish. You may be thinking, what the flip started Irish? I thought you were Irish. There is a difference. It's really awkward when you're talking to someone and then you say, oh, I'm from Northern Ireland. And they're like, oh, you're from Ireland. And I'm just like, no. I'm from Northern Ireland. There is a difference. The easiest way to think about this is Canada and America, except we're the more awesome ones. But that's just the way that me and my friends find it easiest to describe to people. See, there's a lot of trouble actually going on with the whole is Northern Ireland British or is it Irish? And it's been going on for years. But it's actually a really good thing because at the minute, if, depending on what country I go to, I can either say I'm English or I'm Irish. And depending on where you are, that's actually a good thing because not a lot of countries like English people, but then again, not a lot of countries like Irish people. But you would find actually the majority of people love Irish people, especially you guys in America. I know you guys love us. Because you think we all run about talking like this and we have little leprechaun hats and we're all ginger with beards. We're actually not. the same. <laughs> but yeah, that is my five awkward facts. I do not know what video is playing or where my little jack of potato head is. But if you see him up in one of the corners, click on him and he will subscribe you to my channel. If you like the video, click the like button down below. If you want to do five awkward facts about yourself, go ahead and do it. It'd be a good crack to hear what you have to say. I'm not going to tag anyone because I don't think I have five other people that I could tag anyway. But anyway, guys, my name is Jack Potato. I am a Christian. I will see you all next time.